Hello everyone, this is Ryan here, and today I'm coming back to you guys for another Mindplex staff interview, and today I'm with a leader, Blue Beetle HD, so if you'd like to introduce yourself, that'd be awesome. Hey, so I, I'm Blue Beetle HD, but a lot of people just named Nathan. I'm from Vancouver, Canada, and I'm 23 years old. So have you had every single rank on the Mindplex server? Yeah, I have. Uh, so before I became a helper, I was actually recruited from another server. So I actually didn't have to do the whole application and mm -hmm. interview process, but I w became a helper for around a month or so. Um, after that, I became a moderator. And at that time, you didn't have to be moderator for too long. So I was only moderator for around two weeks before I joined Mod Coronation. Um, in that role, I was like a mentor, a mentoring manager, and then eventually the mod cord manager before I became the admin after a year or so. And during the, when I was an admin, I was also the RC admin. So that occurred for around a year and a half before I became LT around July 2016. And that's when I became head of staff. And then I eventually started to do stuff more in production in terms of project management as well as the marketplace stuff. Awesome. And what drove you to become a leader on Mindplex? Um, so I think the biggest drive for me was basically wanting to keep helping the community and staff more and more. It was just never my goal to be certain type of role in terms of admin or even LT. I never really dreamed of it like that. I, it was just more about how can I do more work and different work to keep myself interested as well as find ways to also benefit the community. So. I just kept trying to push and talk to more people to see what else I could do to help. And eventually that ended up with LT. Yeah. And is Mindplex, uh, is that your full-time job or do you have any other things that you like to do or things or uh, in any other line of work or anything like that? Mm -hmm, definitely. Um, so currently uh, I actually just graduated from university in May. Mm -hmm. So during that I was balancing full-time Mindplex as well as full-time school so however now that I'm done school uh, I'm just doing Mindplex for now I uh, don't know what there are plans in terms of the future but for now that's my main source of um, of my time besides of course spending time with family and my girlfriend and my friends and what, what did you go to university for I went to university for uh, business and I specialized in finance so that's my background I also uh, studied a lot of marketing courses that really benefited me for the marketing manager role currently as well. And what's it like working for Mindplex daily and how often do you, do you communicate with the owners? Uh, it's pretty good. Like uh, on a day to day basis, it varies a lot. But I think the biggest thing with this job is that sometimes it's like easier weeks. Sometimes it's, it feels like you're always there. Um, unlike kind of traditional jobs where it's like eight to five, you're kind of always on call just because everyone's from a different time zone. Mm -hmm. so, so like a day to day would be kind of like waking up to check mess messages from people because again, everyone's in a different time zone. Uh, I try to do a lot of the meetings in the morning and then I try to do a quick workout before lunch and then after lunch I like to get back to work with things on checking the progress on some projects, especially for Marketplace currently. Um, in terms of your question about talking to owners, I talk to multiple, like a lot of them, like almost every day. Um, that can be just giving them progress checks on what everyone else is doing, how we're looking, uh, what I personally need from them, as well as just um, working together on certain kind of projects and stuff. It's a really collaborative effort, so I really enjoy communicating with the uh, owner when doing stuff. Yeah, and would you say you're friends with any of the owners or just in general anybody on the staff team? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I consider all the owners like uh, friends of mine, like... Especially since I actually went to Stockholm with them, Sweden. Oh, wow. um, Stockholm, Sweden in May with the Mindplex guys. Um, so Minecraft was hosting this 10 year kind of anniversary thing for their marketplace uh, teams and stuff like that. So I got to meet up with the Mindplex people, got to go to the Mojang office and all that. So that was like a really good time to really bond and get to know each other. But in terms of uh, friends on the staff team, since I've been here for like five years, a lot of my um, Good friends have kind of resigned now, like for example, Jir, who used to be the um, train, training management admin. But uh, most of the time, I'm, I get along really well with a lot of my admins. 
Um, even though I'm their supervisor for a lot of their work, I still consider a lot of them my friends, um, especially Dean, since I have to work with him on Marketplace as well as project management. Um, I feel closest with Dean currently just because we also talk a lot about Overwatch and uh, a lot of other stuff, casual stuff. Yeah, and how long do you do you see yourself staying staying in your role on Mindplex? Um, I don't think there's a for like a timeline I'm seeing. I think the biggest thing for me as like an individual is I always want to be still motivated and feel like I'm still learning. So as long as I feel I'm still learning in my job and that I'm also being able to kind of push the limits and improve Mindplex as a whole, I don't see a real timeline on leaving for now. And what do you think your favorite game is to play on Mindplex? Do you have one, or do you, or do, are you more uh, administrative and don't have too too much time to play on the server anymore? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'd say it's like, yeah, I, I, there's not a lot of time to play nowadays, just because um, I'm always kind of like messaging or meetings and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But when I do get to play, um, Dragon Escape is probably still my favorite just because the parkour of it is entertaining to me. Like, I think the biggest thing I do now when I do work is I love to pace around lobbies and stuff like that. So parkour is just like something really good for me when I'm in meetings and stuff like that, that I can just keep my mind busy as well. Yeah, and how, how did you feel when you first when you first got promoted to your position now? And um, who promoted you and kind of what, what was that whole process like? Mm-hmm, yeah, so when I got promoted to LT, I was promoted by Ryan, so that's Strut um, 20. So it felt really great. Like I was really excited for the op opportunity when he asked me about it, because there's not a lot of LT roles. And although the teams changed when I was there, for example, there used to be Samson, uh, Sigils and all that. Um, I still uh, was really excited to kind of continue the work here on Mindplex and be part of the LT team. So I still share that kind of same excitement I had when I initially got the role. Nice. And I guess my final question for you is, do you have any tips for maybe people who are staff members now who are really like passionate about the server and about the community who might want to become uh, one of the senior management positions in the future, like admin or something like that? Do you have any tips or suggestions that might benefit them? Yeah, definitely. Um, in terms of more of a mindset uh, tip, I would probably say is just never focus on having a, a role. For example, if your whole goal is to be an admin, I don't think you're going to do very well. Basically, you have to keep the mindset of benefiting the team as well as like the collective whole. As long as you work hard and naturally lead within whatever position you are, whether you're a senior mod, mod trainee, you're going to be noticed for like the right reason. Um, you want to make sure you stand out by having that mindset of helping the team rather than just being like, I want an individualistic goal of getting a certain position because that's not going to last in terms of motivating yourself as well as like showcasing the right kind of attitude. So I'd say people with like that collective mindset always do the best and end up just being promoted naturally. Yeah, well, awesome, and thank you very much for doing this interview. I really think the community is going to enjoy it, um, and I and I enjoy doing it myself. So if you guys like this interview, make sure to show Blue Beetle some love on the forums or anywhere you find him. Um, that would be great. And if you did like this video, make sure to comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day. Hey, guys, thank you so much again for watching that interview with Blue Beetle. That was pretty awesome, and thanks again to him for doing that interview. Um, also, I have a Discord server, so if you guys want to join the Discord server, that would be awesome. I'm going to keep a link to that Discord server in the description. It's me, you know, a bunch of a bunch of other YouTubers, some on the Mindplex server, um, a lot of staff members, community members. It's just all around a good time, so make sure you guys check that link out, and I hope you guys did enjoy the video. So as I said before, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.